Hey guys, happy Monday. Um, I'm going to do a wrap up of the previous week. Um, I was using this DIY Happy Planner Micro Notes size. Um, and I'm just going to tell you about how that went and then do a little bit of a flip through of everything before we get started with the new week. So that's today's video. Um, I made this myself with just laminated uh, scrapbook paper. I got the um, the discs, their Happy Planner brand discs from Michael's, from Joann's. Um, so if you wanted to watch me make this, that video was a whole long thing if you want to watch that. Um, I added some tabs to it because it was getting confusing. I did the whole Franken Planner thing where you can change the covers. Um, and I never ended up really using that feature. I thought it would be fun to try, um, but I think really just, I don't know, I find that I was basically just using them as dividers, um, and having the tabs reminded me where everything was better than having multiple covers did, so probably wouldn't do that again, um, except that they're already there, so why not have them there? And the rings that I got are much bigger, you'll see, that I needed. I don't know if you can kind of see that. Um, I wanted to have space for extra stuff, but I'm not set it up in here as like a permanent setup. I think if I wanted to be in here long term with all sorts of collections and reference stuff and, you know, multiple months, um, then I would be filling up these discs, but... I'm really only set in here to use like for a week. That was my goal, my plan. So it's really not taking up that much room. And this is even including a whole bunch of note paper trying to bulk it up. Um, so let me go ahead, go top down and show you what I've got in here um, at the end of the week and just do a little quick flip through for you. Again, check out how tiny this thing is. Like I said, I added some tabs. I got these as a fruit printable. I forget. I googled like printable tabs and they're fine. They're kind of a temporary fix and they're definitely getting worn out because they're just sticker paper. Um, so the first section here where I kept the section I kept in the front all week was my brain dump section. So basically just anything I thought of during the week, I just threw on here. I crossed them out as they got moved somewhere else. Then I started adding a dot. Um, this is just some things like I've thought don't forget to do that. It doesn't have to happen this week, so it didn't go on today's or on like that week's to do list. Uh, there's a couple ah, video ideas here that I thought of, so I'm covering those up so to keep them a surprise. Then this was a quest list of questions for the doctor, so I asked her all that stuff. I don't need this still in here, but I have plenty of room, so this was super useful yesterday at the party um, just to have somewhere to take notes, so I handed this to a cousin who wrote down everybody's gifts um, and who gave them to us so that we can write thank you notes later. So that took several pages. And then the rest of this is just the extra paper. These are all from Alibi Design Studio. It's a freebie uh, printable that she has on her mm, website. And you can uh, just print out these cute little note pages and they're all just grid which is perfect for what I needed. Next section is labeled plan. So first we have the little monthly layout. Then we have a monthly log. It's just like super simple um, writer Carol Bujo style. Then this again was each week, you know, 1st through 7th, 8th through 14th, things that need to get done that week. This monthly setup I'll probably keep in here for Comic-Con. Some tracker thingies for the month. Um, this is the weekly layout, so it's just an Alistair style to-do list. And then these are dailies. They're mostly one day per page. I think, yeah, here I fit two days on a page because I didn't have much to do Wednesday. That wasn't, oh no, that's not right. This was Wednesday's layout. I got a little bit crazy, that was fun. <laughs> All of these are on the playlist um, of videos. I you know, have been making videos every single day. So then, yeah, just daily, daily, dailies. I didn't make a daily for Sunday because really all I have to do is set up the new planner and tidy the house. Next section is labeled to do, and I didn't really use it very much. I made a sort of to-do list 
but then everything here ended up getting moved to the weekly to-do list. So this section wasn't really necessary, but in any case, there's one thing here that I need to migrate back to my main planner because it's something I ended up not being able to do this week. And the final section is the projects section where I had a master list of things I needed to do before the party. You see, I got them all done. And then this here was a sort of weekly view of when I, like just to sort of plan when I could get some of them done. And then this was a list of photos that needed to be printed out for her baby book. Um, I needed space to take notes, so I figured I'd put it in with the rest of the party planning stuff. List of things to bring that I needed to make sure not to forget. And then um, the next major project for the month is, of course, these videos. And so that's where I'm just taking note and reminding myself what each video for each day is about. And then that's it. That's, it was pretty simple. Um, I didn't fill in, like I said, more than I just needed for this week. So that's it. So as you saw, there's not a lot in here. Um, basically anything that I needed for this week, I set up and anything I did not, I left. Um, I was purposefully sort of distancing myself from my primary setup in my file effects. Um, project pages stuff are still in here, reference things. Um, I think I referenced a couple pages in here once or twice throughout the week. But mostly, I was just trying to isolate myself to focus just on party prep and kind of clearing my head of all the fluff. Because a lot of times, having this many pages, I feel like I'm, I always feel like I'm forgetting something. I feel like I have to go through and flip through the entire thing just to make sure that I'm not forgetting anything. Um, and so that's the headspace I was in, and I wanted to leave all of that behind and just focus for a week. So that worked really well. Um, having the small size, um, it makes it portable. I think it, I could have done just as well in a larger size for what I was trying to accomplish. Um, the small size, it's, it's very small. Um, I was able, I don't think there were any days where one page wasn't enough for everything I needed to get done that day. But um, if I was getting any more elaborate in Buja collections um, reference stuff, I would probably need multiple pages for a single collection and that can get frustrating to have to keep flipping because flipping in the discs, it's a little bit, they, they get a little bit stuck possibly because the rings are too big, I don't know. But um, I liked that if I was writing on like the left side of the page and I didn't have room, with the rings, um, I don't want to keep opening and closing the rings just to pull something out so I can write on it and put it back. But having the discs made that easy, I was just able to pull it out and stick it back in. Yes, I know that you can clip pages and do the same thing with rings. I always just feel like that kind of weakens the pages and it seems like an extra step that's not necessary when I can write okay in those, because I think those rings are smaller than the discs I have here, anyway. So basically, I liked it um, for what it was for, which was for setting aside a whole week to not focus on my planner, to just focus on what I needed to get done that week. And I am going to be uh, doing roughly the same thing next week, um, but in a different setup. And then I'm going to come back to this the week after when I go to Comic-Con. Um, because I like the portability for that purpose, for having something small and lightweight that I can throw in my backpack and not have... I don't want to, you know, have a whole bag just for my planning stuff when I'm trying to pack light because we're going to be carrying stuff around. So this is what I'm going to pack for that, um, and so I will have to set it up separately for that as well. But in the meantime, I'm going to set up this, um, which I showed you briefly earlier this month. This is a Clever Fox Daily Planner. They sent me this uh, for free to review, so I'm going to do my best to be honest um, and tell you how I feel about it because I have not really taken a detailed look at the spreads and their usefulness yet. So that's what I want to do this week and figure out how I like it. Um, I can tell you up front I'm not expecting to want to stay in it long term, mostly just because of the size. Even, like, you see how thick it is? Even if it weren't just a matter of the thickness, because honestly, I mean, it's not as thick as, as my ring planner. Um, 
it's not the thickness, it's the size. I haven't been in an A5 since I moved out of my mole skin, and I've been getting smaller and smaller ever since. Um, and so I don't see myself wanting to go back to something that's this big and heavy to carry around in my bag every day. But I am excited to try it for a week um, because sometimes I do feel like I'd like to spread out a little bit. And when I see pictures of other people's A5s, um, it makes me kind of want to branch out into that, even though I do use an A5 at work. But um, so I'm excited to try this out for the week. I'm not going to do that on camera in this video, though. So uh, what we're going to do, I'm going to turn on the camera and film myself setting it up. If you want to see that video, I'm going to post it like an hour or two after this one. So if you're watching this right away, just wait. Um, if you're watching it later in the day, it should already be there. There's a link right here, which I will try to put up as soon as I can. And um, that will be just, if you want to watch however long it takes me to set this up, I'm not going to do commentary or anything on that. I may say a couple things here and there, but this is just if you actually want to watch that. I know there's some people on this channel who are down for that. Um, so enjoy. The rest of you may want to skip that because I will be doing a flip through of my setup in tomorrow's video before I tell you about how the first date went. So if you want to check that out, just wait till tomorrow. If you want to see the whole thing, it is available. Um, and in either case, be sure that you are subscribed and that you ring the bell for notifications because these videos are coming out every single morning throughout July. Uh, I hope you're enjoying them. Comment below and let me know what you think. Um, if you would ever try something this small or if you ever feel like you just need to get away from your planner, let me know below and I'll see you tomorrow.